A remainder problem is a problem where they're asking you if you realize that you know what a remainder is. A remainder is a real number that's left over after you divide one number by another. It's a real number. In this case, when x is divided by 6, the remainder is 5. What will yield a remainder of 3 when divided by 6? When we look at this, you want to pick a number that makes it so. Pick a number that makes the problem work. In this case, 11 divided by 6 leaves a remainder of 5. 6 goes into 11 one time and leaves 5 left over. Well, I want a number that will yield a remainder of 3 when I divide it by 6. Well, 9 divided by 6 leaves a remainder of 3. 6 goes into 9 one time and leaves 3 left over. Well, what's the difference between 11, or x, and 9? Well, 11 minus 9 is 2. So x minus 2 would leave a remainder of 3. This question says that when a is divided by 6, the remainder is 4. What's the remainder when 8a is divided by 6? Remember, a remainder is a real number that's left over after you divide one number by another number. In this case, we're told that a is divided by 6, leaving a remainder of 4. Pick a number that makes that true. For instance, 10. 10 divided by 6, goes, 6 goes one time and leaves a remainder of 4. Now multiply 10 times 8, giving you 8a, that'd give you 80. If I divide 80 by 6, 6 goes 13 times and leaves a remainder of 2, a real number that's left over. Here we have a remainder problem. and Remember that a remainder is a number that's left over when you divide one number by another. In this case, s is divided by 6 and leaves a remainder of 3. Which of the following will have a remainder of 1 when divided by 6? Let's choose a number that makes the statement true. If you divide 9 by 6, 6 goes one time and leaves a remainder of 3. Okay, now we want a number that leaves a remainder of 1 we divide it by 6. And notice we're adding numbers in all our answer choices to s. So we need a number bigger than 9 that 6 goes into and leaves a remainder of 1. Well, that would be 13, for instance. 13, 6 goes 2 times and leaves a remainder of 1. Now, the difference between 13 and 9 is 4. You add 4 to 9 to get to 13. So s plus 4 is our answer. When 256 is divided by 5, the remainder is q. When 256 is divided by 25, the remainder is r. What's the value of q minus r? Looks hard until you remember a remainder is a real number left over after you divide one number by another number. Remember there's something left there. It's not just a decimal. Well, if I divide 256 by 5, 5 goes 51 times and leaves a remainder of 1. So q equals 1. If I divide 256 by 25, it goes 10 times and leaves a remainder of 6. There's 6 left over. So r equals 6. q minus r is 1 minus 6, negative 5.